Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some advanced box basketball plays that you can run with your basketball team. Now generally speaking, box basketball plays are usually the easiest and simple plays that you can run. However, what I'm going to show you today are not easy and simple. These are advanced plays. Let's get down to the clipboard and let me show you these amazing basketball plays. Okay, so first in this basketball play, we're going to have player 5 setting a screen down for player 3. Player 1 is going to dribble over towards this left side. At this time, after this screen is set and player 3 starts running off of that screen, we're going to have player 4 set a screen down for player 2. Now this is very simple to the, to the pin down box basketball play. Player 2 is going to be popping up and player 3 is going to be doing the same. Now this is going to be a dribble handoff between 1 and 3. Player 3 once he gets that ball is going to dribble towards the point and player 1 is going to continue out towards that left side. If player 3 is open to take that shot, I want him to take that shot. If he is not in player 3, his defender was able to get through, or there was a switch up top, one or the other, what I want to see happen is player 3 to look over to player 2. This is a fantastic option for player 2 to get an open shot. He can get an open 3 point or mid range shot. If he is open, I want him taking that shot. If he is not open and player 2 red was guarding player 2 blue, I want player 4 now to set a screen across to player 5 and player 3 to set a screen for player 1. At this time, player 2 has two different options. He can either hit player 5 in the low post or player 1 at the point. If he hits player 5 in the low post, player 5 needs to go up for that shot. If he hits player 1, player 1 needs to go up for that shot or you can set up either a 5 out, player 5 pops and player 4 pops, motion offense, or you can set up a three out two in motion offense it is totally up to you how you like to run your offense the reason why i like to go to a motion offense something easy sometimes like a pass and screen away type of offense is or even a pass and screen four is because with a motion offense it continues through while after the set plays that we run now in this second play, what we're going to be having is player 2 setting a screen for player 1. At this time, player 5 is going to be setting a screen across to player 4. And now player 4 is going to be using that screen. So player 4 is using that screen, player 1 is using this screen as well. Player 1 is going to be popping towards that low block. If he's open, hit him up for that layup. If player 1 is open for a shot, player 1 better take a shot as well. Now, what I want to see happen is player three to set a screen on player two if none of that is open player two is going to be using that screen this is great because if player four has the ball he can do a skip pass out to player two player one could do a skip pass as well they're both options but that's not the main option i just want to have him open on that far side because now i want to have player three setting up a screen we're going to get those player, those defenders through. Player 3 is going to be setting up a screen at that high block. Player 4 is going to be setting up a screen up top for player 1 to drive. Player 5 is going to be popping as well. So player 1 can look really quickly at player 5. He may be open. But what I want to see, number 1 option is for player 1 to use that screen. Player 2 is going to be then drifting down towards this low corner where if now player 2 red comes over to play help defense like he should, player 1 can kick that ball out to player 2 for a 3 point or mid range shot. Player 1 could also go in for that layup as well if that layup is open. Now you may be saying, okay, well a box offense, they're usually ran against man to man defenses and that is true. They are. But... Today, I'm going to show you a fantastic play against a 2-3 zone, and then I'm going to show you one more play against a man-to-man -man zone or man-to-man defense as well. 
Okay, so against the 2-3 zone, what you're going to be most likely having is the two players trapping up top, player 3 and 4 moving a bit higher, and now what we're going to be having is player 4 setting that screen one more time for player 1. Player 1 is going to be dribbling out towards this right side, that's going to be drawing the defense over. At this time, what we're going to be having is player 3, he's going to be setting a screen for player 4, and player four is going to be going towards that high post. So this is a screen and roll, but player three is going to be moving over at the same time to set that screen as well. Now, what I want to see happen is a player four to get that ball. Player four is going to get that ball, and he could take that shot. However, now what this is going to do is bring up player 5 and player 1 is going to try and defend that corner as well. And if that's the case, player 4 can pass down to player 2 for a nice easy layup. Now, these are great options. I'm going to show you one more against the 3-2 zone as well as a man-to-man. -man. So against the 3-2 zone, we want to try and get the ball down towards these corners and or the ball towards the high posts and have players from the corners drive towards the rim and that's what we're going to be doing so how we are going to do this is have player four set a screen for player one he's going to dribble out towards this side which is going to get player three to pop away from that elbow player two is going to be cutting up towards the high post and we're going to have player four pop off of that screen he is not rolling towards the basket we're going to have player 1 passing to player 2, which is going to bring player 5 up. And we're going to have player 3 move down, set a screen for player 5 who's going to cut across. And player 2 can hit up player 5. If that is not going to work, then what we're going to have is player 5 move out towards that wing. And we can pass the ball out towards that wing for a 3-point shot as well. We can also have player five in that low post and we can have player four cut out towards that low wing or that corner we can now have essentially this is an overload offense and we are now having player five guarding two players player three is guarding two players as well so if none of these options are open i would be really super surprised However, if they are not open and they're playing really strong defense, what I would like to see is player one to re, uh, return back towards the point, player two go back, and we can set up this next play. This next play is by screening down for those players, and they're not going to be popping up towards the free throw line extended. They're going to be popping up to or over towards those low wings. We are now going to have player one dribble over towards the right or left side. That's going to draw the double team. And we're going to have the player from the low post who just set that screen pop up towards the elbow. That's going to be a nice quick shot. If he doesn't have that quick shot, we're going to have player five cut baseline. It's going to hide a low pass into a layup. Nice, simple, and easy. Now one more simple play that I like to run, but this is still an advanced play, but it's just a bit easier than the rest. What we're going to have is player 2 set a screen down for player 4, and player 4 is going to be setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to use that screen, he could take that shot, that is an option. At this time, I want to see player 5 set a screen for player 3, and of course, what we're going to be having is we're going to have the defense cover over. Player 4 is going to be popping. And now we're going to be having player 5 and 2 set a staggered screen for player 3 who's going to be then popping out towards the 3-point line. If this is open, he needs to take that shot. If this is not open and player 3 red weaved his way through to stop that from being open, what we need now is player 5 to pop out and player four to make some space and player two to set up a screen and roll down the middle where player one either attacks the rim takes the shot or has player two rolling towards the basket for a nice easy layup i hope that you've enjoyed today's video if you have hit that like button subscribe check out my defense books in the link in the description below and i'll see you guys again next time